Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, July 6, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part three, the final part for today, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me if you're just joining me, and thank you for um, uh, checking out my videos. Um, I'm starting off on my YouTube uh, DDarko2012 page here. Uh, I don't usually do this, but uh, so you obviously know that there's something weird going on, and there is. <laughs> My website's www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. There's a poll posted. Um, I just wanted to check a comment or show you a comment that someone left on my channel. It said, all of a sudden, I'm unable to play YouTube videos. I see the videos, but the player controls do not appear. Has anyone else had this problem? And um, I didn't have the problem. I uploaded two videos already. And uh, it was like, like I said, pulling my hair out and pulling teeth in a very, very long, complicated, drawn-out process, unfortunately. And uh, it seems like it's getting worse and worse. Um, I uploaded my first video, and then all of a sudden, my bandwidth just slowed down uh, uh, significantly, drastically. Um, I don't know if I'm being messed with remotely here or what, but... Uh, and now all of a sudden I'm getting ready to uh, roll into my third and final video here and show you guys you know some good videos and uh, this happened right here on my YouTube page and then look at this uh, fake tear real sentence FBI inspiration for 25 years in jail I'm talking about the patsies the fake terrorists that the FBI CIA funds and uh, brings up and then throws them slaps them in 25 years uh, so they can act like there's an actual um, threat of terrorism in the homeland as they say but it doesn't play, so I can't play it for you. And this was the other one. I'll post the link, so uh, hopefully you can watch it. This is Mutiny, City Council, and Chief of Police Override Mayor. Um, so go in there and check that out, guys. Um, I'm going to go through these articles here, so I will have a little more time to uh, speak and elaborate on some of these articles. So it says here, Communists to back Obama and Democrats in 2012, the Communist Party USA, while on occasion working to build third-party efforts, has since the 30s consistently supported and infiltrated the Democratic Party. And um, you can check that out. I'll hopefully have the links posted, but uh, I can't guarantee it, guys, because um, like I said, sometimes you'll notice by the third video, the links won't even be up there because my computer gets so slow by then that I can't even put them up. So we'll see. Police riot squad corners. Uh, Kimberly Gas uh, Hub protesters 11 arrested. Uh, this is another video. It says here at least a dozen people have been arrested at James Price Point today uh, as police moved on a group of protesters blocking access to the road to the proposed gas hub. It says here about 100 protesters uh, were this morning stopping Woodside workers and contractors from accessing the site of a $30 billion Kimberly gas precinct. Um, and it says here, uh, Woodbroom Operations Vice President uh, Garcia said in a statement the company had all the necessary consents and approvals to conduct its geotechnical studies. Woodside respects the right of people, the people to protest and express their views in a peaceful and lawful manner. However, the threatening, offensive, intimidating behavior that some of our contractors and indigenous workers have been subjected to over the recent months is unacceptable. So uh, you can go in there and check that out. I'm going to move forward now. Okay, here's a crazy story, and I have a lot of them in this vid last video. A woman escorted off U.S. Airways flight for a snapping photo deemed a security risk for photographing name tag of rude employee. And that's the woman right there. A Miami photographer was escorted off a U.S. Airways plane and deemed a security risk after she snapped the photo of an employee's name tag at Philadelphia International Airport on Friday. It's just like the police. They don't like when you take pictures of them, but, oh, you know what? I've seen it right there on I-80 in Illinois. Cops taking pictures of me and you, and we're just driving by. So it's bad enough that we can't travel freely, right? Which it should be our inherent right to, to be able to travel un, uh, uh, um, basically not being messed with, right? Uninhibited travel, and uh, we don't. We don't really have that. So uh, she got kicked off along with uh, paraplegic and all these other people are getting kicked off flights now. So... Like I said, they got these new body scanners now with x-ray technology. And my brother and that, they all want to go to Savannah, whatever, go down to the south where I was used to be stationed in the Marine Corps. And uh, I was like, well, I'll meet you. And he's like, I'm like, uh, we're going to be driving. He's like, well, I'll meet you there. I'm flying. I'm like, well, I'm never flying. I'm not flying. I'm never flying again. I haven't flown in a long time. So I'm not going to get kicked off a plane. And uh, I'm not going to get 
radiated, especially now an extra dose of radiation. Uh, New York City sanitation agents look to crack down on litter basket violations. And uh, look at this. This was uh, in April 2011, but check this out. Here's an update. This was Jan uh, July 5th, 2011. Upper East Side woman Darby uh, Potofsky ticketed for using city trash can. Says sanitation workers was aggressive and frightened the hell out of her. Well, yeah, that's how it is now. Uh, just like uh, when they hold these drills at middle schools, like, oh, there's a shooter or there's a bomber uh, in the building. And then, like, kids actually um, have panic attacks and, and, one, and some with asthma or health problems actually almost have to go to the hospital. Or um, recently, uh, here in my neck of the woods, and uh, uh, it was actually in Chi-Town, Chicago, um, the uh, Chicago Police Department was holding a drill, yes, that's right, with a helicopter with infrared and heat-seeking uh, technology. And they were out there playing with their toys in the middle of the night. And they had a, a police officer with some orange vest uh, running around through the alleys with a shotgun. And uh, one off-duty police officer actually almost shot him. And uh, so they didn't tell anybody. And they just go ahead and do that stuff. Uh, New York City Pet Store bans drunken puppy buying. New York City Pet Store that's surrounded by bars has banned drunk, drunken puppy buying. Saying, uh, you know, uh, they he doesn't even want them to hold the puppies because they can drop them. So... Uh, just really getting ridiculous nowadays. Teenager banned from the roads for drink, uh, drunk driving on a 15 mile per hour uh, lawnmower. So a teenager has been banned from driving after he drunkenly got behind the wheel of his father's lawnmower. So see, like I said, it just gets more ridiculous. Testing for two year olds now every time at nursery will have their progress rated. So there you go. And then we have this. And uh, infant kidnapped, uh, tortured by Missouri state officials. And this is, of course, to see if the program, the brainwashing, the indoctrination is taking hold on those poor little minds, right? And uh, if, if they are, then they get to go forward to the more advanced forms of brainwashing. Um, so this infant was kidnapped and tortured by Missouri state. Um, it goes on here and it says that this was in mid-April. It was a routine checkup and they went in there uh, to get the weight uh, and uh, because they were actually underweight and it says as far as I knew they were doing a great job with Caden uh, feeding him with everything he needed and performing the duties of responsible parents they had gone along with the pediatrician's recommendations to see the specialist they wanted to be uh, sure there was nothing wrong but after a few minutes in the examination room the appointment turned into an ambush multiple officials from the Department of Family Services stormed in the room demanding the uh, astonished parents to disclose what they had been feeding their child and they're given a choice between being put into jail uh, it says on the charge of child abuse and singing a or signing, sorry, a rights waiver to relinquish their parental rights over the child. So, there you go, guys. There you go. Update bullets or bullet grazes teen uh, face during downtown mobile fight. It says here a teenager was grazed in the face by a bullet early Tuesday morning during a group fight in downtown Mobile, and. Uh, I guess there was actually more people there, almost like a riot. Five dead, 23 hurt over violent holiday weekend. It says Chicago turned violent over the holiday weekend as five men were killed and more than 20 were injured in shootings and stabbings. So pretty crazy stuff. I, I tend to think it's not just the economy. Uh, people just don't have jobs and they're cracking down with the war on drugs. And so that's their main source of income. I mean, if you can't produce something yourself, you can't grow it like a farmer, uh, you don't have any work. There's no jobs in the ghetto. You're going to have to slang that you're going to have to sell. And I don't have any problem with that because people are going to put they have the right to put whatever they want in their own bodies. And if people want to do what they got to do to feed their families, that's what they have to do. You know, they're not criminals. They're salesmen. The people that sell those pharma pharma uh, pharmacy drugs, they're drug dealers too. Why aren't they called that? No, they're called doctors. They're called doctors and um, uh, pharmacists, right? So the other thing is, I'm thinking that uh, these EOF towers that are just towering all throughout the city, these Wi-Fi towers, um, they're just cranking them up, dude. And they're just let and these poor people. I mean, it can either either make them docile or it can make them violent. It says here, police firefighters shot with fireworks at Taft Homes riots. So more riots, and they were actually hitting the cops with the fireworks. It says Menino plans emergency meeting with police after four killed, nine wounded, and spree of violence. And then, um, and I'm going to move on here. Uh, Tech today, Cisco China team up for surveillance. 
and a massive new video surveillance project in China sheds light on how Western tech companies do business in places where technology is sometimes used for political purposes. Go in there and check that out. I'm going to keep moving because I have plenty of articles to get to. One in three overwhelmed by technology, and I am included in there. I am overwhelmed uh, with technology. I think it's too much, too fast. I'd like to go back to the old ways, to be honest with you. It's nice that I can talk to you like this and, and you know, someone in Australia and, and other parts of the world, I, I really do appreciate it. But at the same time, if we didn't have all this technology, we probably wouldn't be as enslaved. Uh, one in th And like I said, it's all premature. The only time we get all these little trinkets and toys is so that we can be managed and uh, and um, surveilled and, and controlled further. It says here, one in three overwhelmed by technology. New research from Cambridge uh, indicates that a third of people have felt overwhelmed by technology, but children still prefer face-to-face -face communication. So there you go, see, face-to-face. -face. I prefer that too, to be honest with you. That's why I don't like these people that sit behind these desks uh, working for the government. Like I said before, um, drinking their uh, uh, three-hour energy and their Red Bulls. Um, and uh, f you know, effing with people like me or speaking the truth while they hide behind wherever they are and screw with people that are talking about truth and uh, liberty and uh, injustices that are going on in the world. Uh, senior cop caught speeding twice in a day. And just a little disclaimer uh, in case anyone says, uh, I don't show my face here when I'm doing this because you don't need to see my face. You can see my little lovely smiling face on my website and that if you really want to, or go on my Facebook and you'll see what I look like. But I don't do it for these videos because it's not important and because uh, they'll just take that image while I'm doing videos and uh, and distort it and do whatever they say. Oh, look, he's got a beard. He's got long hair. So it's the message that's most important here. Senior cop caught speeding twice in one day. Then Vegas officials consider marketing gay honeymoon. Same-sex couples can't get married in Nevada, but at last says Vegas tourism officials are still looking for a way to cash in on a growing gay wedding industry. That next up, gay couples uh, losing perks, legal same-sex marriage in states uh, leads companies to cut partner benefits. Then gay pride has a lot of sparkle, lots of pink, and plus hints of gray. The annual event is now more of a celebration than a campaign. And uh, wow, that says a lot. And there, this year, along came senior figures who fought the old battles. Next up, California lawmakers passed to uh, a bill to teach gay history. So uh, it says here, a bill to require California public school to teach the historical accomplishments of gay men and lesbians passed the state legislator on Tuesday in what supporters call a first for the nation. All right, next up, California teen faces a trial and gay classmate killing a Southern California teen trial on charges of a gunning down a gay classmate in front of other students at a middle school in 2008. Court orders gay military service ban to be lifted and Catholic bishop bars New York legislators from parish and school events in a protest. Uh, it says here, BPA, plastics, chemical found to feminize males, and I knew that a long time ago, odds of baby, uh, for fertile couples, still very low, more than 30 years after struggling. Uh, the world's first test tube baby was born despite mo modern advances. Oh, scientists are still struggling to dramatically improve the odds for infert uh, infertile couples trying to have children. You think that's by design? Of course it is. Gum disease affects women's fertility, so they want them to uh, uh, floss, basically. I uh, IVF um, says here, procedure may increase risk of Down syndrome. And then we have revealed the thousands of pregnancies aborted for abnormalities, including cleft uh, palate and Down syndrome. That's called eugenics. Um, Big Pharma's latest shadowy ploy to sell depression drugs that people uh, may not need. And then next, look at this. Autism may be linked to antidepressant use. Some pediatricians taking stand for vaccine program doctors at certain practices refuse to treat kids who, uh, whose parents refuse immunization schedules and so here's their god bill gates and push a global push to vaccinate every child on the planet because he loves them so much no it's because there's too many of them and they, he wants to kill them that's the sad truth meow uh, claws come out for sexy ad by gold coast salon for animal uh, welfare charity and um says some uh, golf coast locals are outraged by the image and that is pretty gross. Anti-smoking drug ups heart problems, and obesity is higher among non-smoking women. So what do you do? Texas messages help smokers quit. And then we have doctors back driving smoking bans. So if you can ban smoking, 
in uh, your uh, car. You can ban it in your house, and you can ban it completely. GM crops EU Parliament backs national bans. Uh, KFC and Pepsi donate diabetes research in exchange for your soda. New diabetes drug linked to infections and cancer. Then heart procedure to clear arteries may be misused. 12% cutting salt does not reduce death rate. And Gallup blacks most religious group in the U.S. There's plenty more news I didn't even get a chance to get to. Thank you for joining me. This is GGN. I'm Darko.